Hey everyone, we often encounter situations where we feel like buying our own house, but sometimes it becomes a little too expensive, but you buy it anyway. Well, to make that happen, you need to borrow a loan from the bank. So you put up a down payment of 20%, so you can borrow the rest of the 80% from the bank and make the payments. And if you fail to make the payment to the bank, they can easily confiscate the house. Now, what exactly happens is the bank lends you money knowing that you will pay high interest on it. And then the banks give that interest to its lenders, of course, after having their profiting charges. Well, Aave is a cryptocurrency version of that bank. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to this new video of Simply Learn on what is Aave. In this video, you will explore what is Aave, and following that, you will see how exactly Aave came into existence. And then you will see how it works. And after that, you'll see some real life usages of Aave. And at the end, you will explore whether it is safe or not. But before moving ahead, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such interesting videos and hit that bell icon so you never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, moving on to what is Aave? Aave is technically a decentralized application that allows people to lend and borrow cryptocurrencies, all without a middleman, in return for some fees. Aave uses an algorithm to determine the lending rates and match the borrowers with lenders using a smart contract. Smart contracts enable these assets to be managed by a distributed network of computers running its software. And when lenders deposit cryptocurrency into the protocol, it is routed to a liquidity pool, where it is used to meet the demands of the protocol's borrowers. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what a liquidity pool is, you can definitely see our video on liquidity pool, which will be appearing at the top of your screen right now. This means that Aave users do not have to put their trust in a certain institution or individual to manage their money. They merely need to believe that the code will run exactly as intended. Well, now that you know what Aave is, this raises a question of how and why it came into existence. Aave was founded by Stanny Kulichov, who was very interested in Ethereum and how it could disrupt traditional finance. In November of 2017, Stanny Kulichov and a team of developers released ETHLAND in an initial coin offering, or ICO. By letting users publish loan requests and offers, the intention was to enable users to lend and borrow cryptocurrency from one another. Although Etherland was an innovative concept, the network and its associated token Lend lost popularity once the 2018 bear market began. Lack of liquidity and the difficulty in matching loan requests to offers were the platform's main problems. In 2020, Etherland revamped its offering and changed its name to Aave, switching from the Lend token to Aave in the process. Aave was redeemable for 100 lend for every token as part of the migration. And since that movement, the group has received more than $32 million from some of the leading venture capitalists in the blockchain industry, including blockchain capital and standard crypto. So now that you know the functionality and the motive of Aave, let me take you through the workings of Aave to make you understand how it fulfills its motive. So the first step is to submit Aave request for comment, or ARC. The post should provide all the details of the potentially final AIP when an ARC is submitted on the governance forum. As a result, the community will have the opportunity to offer suggestions for improvement and, if a general consensus can be reached through a community poll, to successfully submit and vote on the AIP. Now, following that, the second step is to create a snapshot. All queries and remarks are addressed after being placed on the governance forum in order to enhance the ARC. To get input from the community and choose the preferred course, a snapshot vote is advised. This quick view enables a general agreement to be reached to increase the likelihood that the AIP submission will succeed. And then comes the last step, which is to submit an AVE request for improvement, or AIP. A GitHub pull request is used to submit the suggestion and the community decides whether to approve it. Moving on, let me take you through some of the real-life uses of Aave. First is security. Users can stake the Aave ERC-20 token to help secure the system and receive compensation in return. Second, 
is collateral. Borrowers who pledge the native token as security for their loans are required to pay lower costs than those who utilize other cryptocurrencies that are locked within the platform. And the third one is DAO. Aave serves as the DAO's governance token and can be used to cast votes on proposals about the addition of additional tokens to the protocol, platform functionality, and other uses. Well, this was all about Aave, but wait, one question remains unanswered. Is Aave safe? Well, Aave, a decentralized money market, paves the path for a more transparent and open financial system. Aave is an intriguing DeFi project that enables transparent access to funds and services for Bitcoin users. Another encouraging advancement is the Aave token. It gives its owners the power to change the Aave protocol. The procedure is additionally safeguarded from black swan situations. So now this was all about Aave. And if you found this video interesting and informative, please do hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Simply Learn. If you have any questions regarding this video, please feel free to ask away in our comments section. Our team will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.